It's had him, man. It's DJ Muggs. Disrespect the architect. Okay, player. All the way live, baby. Soul Assassins, 2023. I think the fan favorite worldwide that gets played probably every day is Jump Around. I mean, that's something I see Snoop doing his set every night, Slick Rick doing his set. It's at every sports event, every night, somewhere, you know what I mean? So that's one of those ones, man, one of those anomalies. I probably would say the same one I just said, jump around, you know what I mean? Like, I, you don't expect a record to do that. You thought it was a good record? Sell a couple hundred thousand records? You know, it's probably at like five, six M's now. I actually made the beat, man. I actually did it I did it with Daddy Freddy from Ragamuffin Hip Hop. I, played, I did it with Son. I had a because I had the concept, I had the hook done. Cause I, you know, I'd be in the clubs and shit. Remember all the Jamaican shit, jump, 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 jump. So I was like, oh, that's a hook. I'm gonna put that on this beat. And then when when Everlast came around, I was like, yo, I got this concept for the song. I got a song. You wanna write to it? See how it comes out. So he wrote to it. I was like, uh-uh. There's your cadence right there. Rewrite the song like this. And he rewrote it and um we shopped it. We shopped it. Um, Funkmaster Flex wanted to sign us when he was at Pro, uh, Pro, Profile. And Special Ed was there back in the days, you know, and the deal was weak. It was like a $50,000 deal. Tommy Boy signed us for two fifty, dollars and it was Monica Lynch up there. What was good about her, she was like, um, this reminds me of my brothers. They go to church, then they go get drunk and get in fights. She was Irish. So it was like, okay, you got it. So she, she, she put that full court press on it. There's a lot of them. The songs that I think banging in a motherfucker, you know what I mean? And just like, damn, that, that's it? You know what I mean? Like, but I don't think there's one. I think there's there's a handful of them, to tell you the truth. Probably a record I did called Dust, which is more of an experimental record. I think that shit's ridiculous. I think it was just timing though, you know what I mean? The timing a lot of times, man. Everything's got to sync, right? It's one of the best records I ever did. You probably ain't even heard of it. It's like a electronic, hip hop, trip hop, eclectic. One of them, CeeLo from Decision Decisions. I mean, that, that verse right there, boy. Timeless. Just on a whole nother level, man. CeeLo's a, a, an amazing artist. Rome, Rock Marcy, Makami, like all these brothers, man, they're all they're all like super genius, you know what I mean? Super talented, bring good vibes to the studios, you know what I mean? Come in, knock this shit out, have a good time, man, and um pro about their shit. And um it's just like the top tier, top tier talent of our time, you know what I mean? These are like the baddest motherfuckers. And it keeps me inspired to hear brothers like this, you know what I mean? Makes me wanna keep doing what I do. I think it's its own special era, yeah. I think it's a special time right now, especially with the hip hop we love, man. It's like, it's bubbling again. You know, it's like the stock market. Sometimes there's the markets down, markets up, but you know, <clears throat> that's what's inspiring me too. It's, it's not about me anymore because all my dreams and aspirations have been reached years ago. You know what I mean? I don't need no money or nothing. I do this to have an artistic outlet and just to stretch the culture we love and to inspire the youth to keep doing the thing we love, to keep it alive and keep pushing it, you know what I mean? Because there was a few years there when this trap shit took over, we was, this shit was kind of like over there on the sideline, like, you know, just going like this. But some brothers kept it alive and just kept pushing, you know, and just kept pushing and kept pushing. So that's what inspires me, man. I've been to 57 countries in every state and just being able to still take this thing that I love, this kind of hip hop I love, and stretch it and bring it to people and wave the flag, you know what I mean? Yeah, I did um I did one called Notes and Tones with um Sun Ra, all Sun Ra samples. I got I got approval from his estate. And um it's and we put out a, some wine with it, natural wine with it, with the project, you know what I mean? So it's called Notes and Tones. It's like a hip hop fusion, jazz, jazz hip hop fusion project. Uh shit. Ram L Z. 
EPMD as a group and Chuck D. Oh man, Molly Maul, The Bomb Squad, and Larry Smith. Right now, um, Alchemist, probably Derringer, and Conductor. Rock Marcy. Um, West Side Gun. And, uh, damn, there's a lot. Of, now there's a lot, man. And I'm fucking with this kid from L.A., man. T.F. Coming up, you know what I mean? He's one of my favorite new L.A. MCs that, that, um, I think he's, he's, he's the next motherfucker coming out of L.A. right now. Bodie James track, Where They At. Um, a track called Death Valley with Rock and Crime Apple. Um, Sicilian Gold, Ghostface Killer, West Side Gun. Um, Dump On Him, Ice Cube, MC Ram, Be Real. CeeLo, Joker's Wild. I got like a lot of them joints on there. I made the record through, it was like a three year period. So they're all my favorites, you know, for that, for the, that moment of that time, you know what I mean? You know, if that's what the gods want, that's what's gonna happen. Right now in the canon, we got um, new Rome Streets, new um, TF album, uh, CeeLo, and uh, Mayhem Loren. Those are the four that are pretty much. I got 19 projects, all all at you know five songs, six songs, eight songs, nine songs. But those are the ones that are pretty close to being done right now. They'll probably be the first four releases next year. But that just I just might just put those out next year and save the rest for the following year. You know what I mean? Man, I just um, I just stay disciplined, you know, mentally, physically, spiritually. I think you gotta stay on point. I work out, eat good, you know what I mean, do my art. Um, I always keep a discipline in my life. I always like to stay uncomfortable, you know what I mean? So I'm always trying to learn and and, and figure something out that, that keeps tricking my brain, keeps me ticking, you know what I mean? So once I feel like I think I'm at, I'm, I'm comfortable and I'm in a good space, I find something to keep me uncomfortable. Because once you hit that plateau, there's only one way to go is down, you know what I mean? I don't ever, take none of these blessings for granted man and just keep pushing it pushing myself and um just keep learning keep learning stay humble <laughs>